Our Dolls Dog Park. I was reading the comments and saw that someone had asked for a dog agility set. For a toy dog, a doll's dog, like a little pet shop. Not a real dog. <laughs> well, that one's not real either. Then I remembered we had a few items in our doll dog park video. Like an A-frame and a tunnel. Which are great so you can start... <laughs> stay, nope, stay. Which are great because now you can start some of your training. In that video we also made a water fountain for the dolls and their pets as well as a fire hydrant. However, they are in need of a few repairs. I accidentally dropped the fire hydrant and this whole front button part here just came off and it took all that paint off with it. So I'll just have to repaint that. That's an, that's an easy fix. And someone left a doll candy apple inside the tunnel and it stuck to it. This is a true story, it really happened. I mean look, here is the candy apple with the paint <laughs> stuck on it. It's a perfect match and I wonder who did that. It wasn't me. I would never waste a perfectly good candy apple. Well, whatever happened, we now have to fix it. And it is important to note that Mod Podge likes to stick to Mod Podge, especially when it's warm. So if you're storing your crafts in a warm area, make sure they have a little bit of space. Otherwise, you might find yourself in a sticky situation. Oh great, now you tell me. For the tunnel, all I have to do is touch up the paint. Smooth it out and then I'll just let it dry. For the fire hydrant, I'm using red and black paint. I'm going to use my paint palette, which is a, which is just a cut piece of cardboard. You know, I love cardboard. Well, I guess I could actually make it look a little bit more like a palette. Hmm, hold on. <laughs> now it looks like a little palette. There we go. <laughs> oh, I guess it would be this hand. Yeah. Awesome! First, I start with a little bit of red paint. And I'm just going to reapply the paint over the areas that were white. Allow it to dry, and this is going to probably take a couple of coats because you're painting onto plastic, and plastic usually doesn't want to hold the paint so much. So you do a thin coat, let it dry, and now it'll be easier to paint because the paint likes to stick to other paint. That was not enough time, so now I'm going to sit and let it dry. And wait. Uh, drying time. While I'm waiting, I'm going to make something else for the park. I have some cardboard, pony beads, stirs or coffee straws, tape, and green paper. I cut a thin strip of cardboard, cover it with paper, add a little more red paint to the fire hydrant, just doing a little multitasking. Make six evenly spaced holes, glue beads over the holes, wrap a piece of tape around the end of the straws, glue it into the bead, pushing into the cardboard to make weave poles to add to our agility set. Come on, little hamster. Come and get the red gumball. What do I look like, a St. Bernard? I'm going home. Ah, who am I kidding? Up and over, through the tunnel, and around the poles. Yes, I did it. Aw, oh, sorry, but you missed one of the poles. Better luck next time. And aren't you supposed to be painting the fire hydrant? Oh yeah, and it's dry now. Add a little black paint, get just a little on the brush, and lightly brush it to help bring out some of the texture and make it look all nice and worn. And of course you don't have to add the black. You can just leave it bright red and make it look all brand new and shiny. And then there is the water fountain, which I think is a cute little detail. The tops from the mini gumball machine containers fit perfectly into this tube, which came from like a box of aluminum foil. Then we just added a bead and painted it, and I think that's adorable. This is a pretty simple craft, and it really starts to come together when you add a background. Like grass and a fence. Now all the little pets can just run around and play. <laughs> and we hope you have as much fun as we did making your own doll's dog park. We want to give a shout out to Amoni Odiase. What's up?